Thousands of nesting birds on Egmont Key recently got an unwanted visitor. A helicopter disturbing their nests after it landed on top of them. Florida Fish and Wildlife has since charged that pilot of the helicopter. Yeah, Fox 13's Evan Axelbank reports tonight the moment that was caught on video. It was the landing heard round Egmont Key. A chopper weighing thousands of pounds landed amidst eggs weighing mere ounces, scattering mom and dad sandwich turns and black skimmers. The area is a closed shorebird nesting site with 50,000 pairs of birds. I mean, our wildlife is key to the area, though. That's the reason why half of us live here and spend all our time out by the beach. The pilot, Ernesto Cordero, a business owner in Bradenton who does landscaping around the state, told Florida Fish and Wildlife he smelled a possible fuel leak. After he landed, witnesses reported seeing a woman get out of the helicopter and take pictures before they took off again. It upsets me, it annoys me, it breaks my heart even, I would say, to some degree. We reached the suspect by phone who said he had no choice but to land on Egmont Key because if he hadn't, he risked a crash. He claimed he was able to check for fuel leaks by opening the cockpit doors but not getting out. He also said he did not declare any emergency with air traffic control. Fox 13 toured the southern tip of Egmont Key with Hubbard's marina captain, Robin Leal. She showed us thousands of birds back in their nests. We go to the beach and they seem like menaces, but it's their home. And, you know, we're coming to it and we need to respect that. Audubon, Florida says the wind made by the rotating chopper blades likely sent eggs scattering and damaged them. They say this is a good opportunity to educate pilots and boaters alike about the import of protected areas. We are very invested in, in getting good outcomes for the birds, and it is uh, very disappointing to see uh, something that seems like it could have been easily avoided if the pilot had had a little more information. FWC charged Cordero with a misdemeanor for harassing the nesting spots, but also cited him for landing in a state park and entering a closed area. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. As for Cordero, he has a court date coming up now in July.